Our coverage of Super Bowl 56 continues here on the Locked On Podcast Network with someone who covered the GOAT, the guy that admittedly I well, I've looked up to for 22 years, and he uh, he stepped away after I saw him in person this year, and uh, that is Tom Brady, and, and Mike Petrelia is joining us. He covered Tom Brady for more than two decades, and now you're covering what many people, Bill, is the next Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, for CLNS Media. Mike, appreciate the time. Let's, uh, let's sure. talk about that a little bit, because yeah. we got Mr. Seven Rings, yep. six that you witnessed. Yep versus this guy with no rings in an organization that doesn't have any rings, and yet he's drawing Tom Brady comparisons. Is that fair? Uh, sure, it's fair, because um, <laughs> Joe Burrow has been able to do what Tom Brady did in his second year, his first full year as uh, starting quarterback for the Bengals, and that is take a team to the Super Bowl. And obviously everybody remembers 2001, the tuck rule in the snow, Charles Woodson, then yep. the – you know, great game in Pittsburgh, leading to the Super Bowl. Was he going to play? Was he not going to play? Uh, and he leads that drive in incredibly dramatic fashion over the greatest show on turf. And everybody crowns him as the new wonder boy of the NFL. Well, lo and behold, Joe Burrow has been able to really, I think, w what the difference to me is, Joe Burrow has been able to shoulder so much more of the load, James, than Tom Brady had to. Because you had sure. a veteran defense. Yep. In New England in 2001, guys like Teddy Bruschi, Willie McGinnis, uh, Ted Johnson, guys that had been there a while, and really, and even Brian Cox was brought in uh, to kind of really, you know, stabilize that defense. So Tom didn't have to do it all. Mm -hmm. This is a lot different. Certainly, you have veterans on that Bengal defense, mm -hmm. but you have Joe Burrow really carrying the load. I will tell you that Joe Burrow has been able to do in his second NFL season something the Tom Brady led Patriot dynasty never did win two road playoff wow. games on the way to a Super Bowl. Tom Brady never won in New England three playoff games to get to a Super Bowl, and he never won two road playoff games to get to a Super Bowl. How about that? He's always getting a bye, right? You know that they, is they always true. Have, yeah, says, because the seasons were fourteen and two and thirteen and three all the time, uh, and even one sixteen and zero season that Patriot fans would rather I not bring up. Yeah, and I was just watching the uh, the man in the arena, arena of that one the other day, and that's a, a heck of one. But, yeah, to me, it, it feels fair, but and it, I think it's easy to say Tom Brady isn't where Burrow, like Burrow's ahead of where Brady was at that 24, 25 years old as a quarterback. I think that that's... See, I don't know if I agree with that. No? I think Brady, Brady is acknowledged, even to Jim Gray on his weekly podcast. Yeah, Burrow's ahead of Brady. Yeah, the Bur oh, I'm sorry, I misheard yeah. you. Burrow is actually ahead of Tom Brady where Brady was in his career. And, again, that's why you can ask Joe Burrow to do much more in the Bengal offense, I think, than Bill Belichick expected of Brady in mm -hmm. 2001 and 2002 and two, even 2003. This feels like, to me, like 06, 07, or 05, Brady, 06, where he had been to Pro Bowls. He had all the confidence. And I think it goes back for, for Burrow to the national title, where that's almost like Brady's first Super Bowl, the equivalent, because he yes. burst onto the scene. Yes. Everybody knew him. He's the first pick, not a sixth-round pick, because he had that success in college. Because without that last year at LSU, Burrow is a sixth-round pick, and he is the guy that's low on the depth chart trying to work his way up. And it could have been – all the similarities could have been there. But you, you think it's fair, though, the comparisons. Let's. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you're in this on this stage, mm -hmm. and this is a stage that – Tom Brady made commonplace over his career, and Joe Burrow, like you mentioned, from the days at LSU to this point, mm -hmm. he has been kind of a dynasty-type quarterback. I mean, he is expected to get to the biggest game in two out of his last three full seasons in football, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the way he has played. That's the way he has led uh, his teammates. And, you know, Dan Picture talked about that, uh, you know, today on his, conference, his Zoom calls mm -hmm. with reporters as Bengal assistants came off the plane from Cincinnati and went right to Zooms before their meetings. And he said that uh, Joe Burrow has been able to understand how to lead these particular Bengals. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is something that sticks out to me as Joe Burrow, the leader. That's why I don't think it's unfair to say that early in their state, early in 
his stage of his career, Joe Burrow is on that track with Tom Brady. So you said, you just mentioned lead and how he's led them. Can he lead them to one more win? Can he take? Sure. All right. What's the path to that? Because I see Aaron Donald, I see Akeem Adeniji, and man, that's not fair. You add in Trey Hopkins, it's still not fair. Uh, Joe Mixon chipping, Von Miller on the other side. Like, that Rams pass rush is okay. scary. So lay the blueprint because you've seen the rings. Yep. You've seen the path. How does this Bengals team get one more in a place that no one expected them to be? What did Bill Belichick and the Patriots do against the Rams, the Sean McVay Rams, back in 2018? 2019, yeah, 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 yeah. Three years ago. Yep. He slowed the game down. He grinded it out, even with Rob Gronkowski healthy, Tom Brady as your quarterback, mm -hmm. and Sonny Michelle as the running back. He made it, he slowed everything down, he gunked up the works. Edelman was there too, right? And Edelman, right, yeah. and he was the MVP of that game. Mm -hmm. They slowed everything down. Much like the Bengals did against the Raiders in Vegas this year, much like they did against the Titans in Tennessee, in Nashville, in that playoff win. Mm -hmm. And to a degree, the second half against uh, the Chiefs in arrowhead they were able to slow things down so that their offense could catch up and run the ball the patriots were able to run for 169 yards in that super bowl win over the rams against aaron donald and at the time in dominican sue mm -hmm. well von miller's there not in dominican sue now but there's still i think the bengals going to try to run the ball play grind it out slow the game down so you don't have to worry about Cooper Cup all the time and obviously OBJ and you let the Bengals run the ball and protect Joe Burrow as much as you can. Sure he's going to throw the ball 25, 30 times, but don't make it a game where the Bengals have to throw. They want to throw on a certain down mm -hmm. and that's how you beat the Rams. Wow. There you go. There you have it. How you beat the Rams. He's Mike Petralia of CLNS Media for more. Make sure you check out Locked On Bengals, Locked On Rams ahead of Super Bowl 56.